That is a wonderful church. Please be seated. Be seated. It's a wonderful church. Anytime I come here, I, I feel happy because I know how the church started. And uh, people have done well. Your pastor has done well. God is touching you and growing you. And when, I, when he asked me to come and share, I told him I'm coming as a coach. So today I'm not going to teach. I'm going to coach you. And uh, by coaching, all of us will participate. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Let us pray. Father, we thank you today. We bless your name. We honor you. We bow before you. We extol your name. We lift your name high. We thank you because no one can compare with you. We thank you, Father, because you're the I am that I am. You're the soon coming king. Blessed Savior, we honor you. I will say, be that glorified, be that exalted. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Today, I am teaching from an extract of this book. Extract. So, details, your pastor will show you the books. And you buy, I have other books. So, so today, <clears throat> let me tell you. As a problem with a black man, I know, I know you are not part of the black race. The whites said, if you want to hide good information, put it in a book. Because the blacks will not... Uh, mental dormancy is the greatest... Forget about political party in Nigeria. Mental dormancy, dormancy is the worst prison you can be. Many of us are poor because we lack financial intelligence. This is not uh, it's not juju. You lack financial intelligence. And I'm going to be sharing a very small extract on how to save money. This topic is a very wide topic. I'm just teaching simple spending measures to save money. It was my wife that gave me this topic. Thank God for good wives. Amen. Simple spending measures to save money. To save money. It's very important. Every one of us here, we have income. Let me put it clear to you. You're a homemaker. I don't call housewives. The proper name is homemaker. Because we go out there to work. They're the ones that clean the house. They're the ones that drag Junior from from the top of his uh, television. That the one when Junior wants to run into, are you with me? Want to pull down the curtain that they want. So they are homemakers and they are wash things. If you to pay for the services, you pay heavy money. So they are homemakers. So they make money to the pocket. Money will give them an encouragement. Some of them have side businesses, side hustle. Am I with you? Yes. You're a student, you have pocket money, you have income. You say you have no money. People will dash you money from time to time. And you will give account of these monies. Your prosperity begins with those drops that enter your hand. Don't wait till a million come. No, 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 no. So today, we are going to go through simple principles. Not all the principles, simple principles on how simple spending measure. Please, Follow me on, on simple spending measure to save money. Praise the name of the Lord. Next slide. The knowledge you have to make money. Listen carefully. The knowledge of how to make money does not equal to knowledge of how to save money. Many of us, money have gone through our palms. All of us. You walk, you trade at your day, money passes through your hand. You walk as a pastor, money passes through your hand. As a student, am I talking to you? Huh? Doesn't money pass through your hand? I don't deny God, though. Passes through your hand. You've learned how to do business. You make money. Does not equal to how to save money. Somebody will say, 
ah, when I used to walk in 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 Julius Beggar, I was making million million. Now, what happened? You're no longer walking in Julius Beggar, but your life is still continuing. You must must. And let me tell you, some of you abused to the money that came to your hand. But this is not the time to weep. It's time to sit back and learn. So, if knowledge of how to make money does not equal to knowledge of how to save money. You need to, in addition to how to make money, you need knowledge of how to save. And that's a few tips. I'm going to give you a few tips. The details you read from my book and other things. And my book is not a complicated book. It's just a simple book where I wrote out certain plans, certain tips I use in running my life. It's not exhaustive. Certain tips, practical tips I use in running my life on saving. It is not exhaustive. Praise the name of the Lord. Next slide. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs 21, 20 from the New Living Bible, if you read that translation, it says, the wise man saves for the future, but the foolish man spends whatever he gets. Horrible. Can you read that? And every day, we are taking the part of foolish people, taking the part of foolish people by not, by not saving what we get. I don't have enough. I don't have, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. I can't earn. You, 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 are, you, are, you are encouraging yourself. You are busy in your life. I don't have enough. You don't have enough. They give you money. The next place you run to is those eateries. I, I learned that Domino's store now. Domino. Dangerous places. There are Domino pizzas. All right, Abby? It was my daughter's that. Daddy, see Domino pizza. I said, shh. I will give you. I don't, but shh. All over. You see, I tell my people in church, I said, before the corona, we had a bookshop where they sell. I said, I am not competing. I'm competing with those shops there. To know how much you have in your pocket, you people looking at me. It's after service. You drop five, five, 500 in the offering box. You cross over to that place. Madam, give me, give, give me this shawarma. Give me this. Are you with me? I read a book that said, where is money? Where can you find money? Money is found in people. Where does money hide? Money hides in you. Am I talking to you? It hides in you. That's where it hides. That's one of the different messages altogether. It hides in you. So a wise man saves for the future. That's a proviso. That whatever you earn, you should not finish it. If you have not learned anything today, let that enter your head. Whatever, I don't care how much. I don't have enough. I don't have, learn that habit of putting, even if it is on the naira. Am I talking to you? Yes, huh? yes. I'm going to use my life to give you an example of how it worked for me. Wise man saves for the future. But the foolish man spends whatever he gets. If you're spending whatever you get today, repent. And begin to structure. Am I talking to you? Yes. Repent, repent, repent. I tell people, old age is good, but it is expensive. Do you hear me? Huh? Yes. I know how much I spend every month to buy supplements. The pastor knows to keep myself. Thank you. That is a constant amount of money I spend on supplement, not drug, supplement, calcium here, potassium here. Are you with me? It is money. Don't blame God when you cannot provide that because you never learned to save. Amen? Amen? It's very important for us to get, take note of that. Next slide. Types of spending. There are two major types of spending. 
Two major ones. I'm taking my time so that I'm not teaching you. There are two major types of spending. You either spend on the needs or you spend on what? Your wants. Do we have microphone here? Extra microphone? Ushers, you move around. Who can tell me what they say needs? What do you mean by needs? Somebody, before I start pointing fingers, oh, I'm coaching. You have a need, you have a want, eh? and you spend money on these two. So what is the a need? Give me one or two. What do you mean by need? Define it first. And then. A need is a necessity. What, what is required, what you need is a necessity of life, like food, shelter, clothing. Yes. That's a need. Necessity. Your life depends on it, apart from Jesus. So, a necessity. Your food, your housing. These days, uh, credit card has joined it. No problem. Credit card, eh? And data. You need it. All those things are needs. You need it to be able to survive. And what is a want? Give it to this ladies here. One of them should answer. The want. Praise the Lord. Want are what we desire. What you desire but you cannot afford but it doesn't necessarily mean that life hangs on it. I mean, who can give me an example of your want? Come on, come on, come on. Your want, your want. In plenty, all of you know. Eh? You've been spending your money on your wants. Give it to her. Stop pretending. Rose Royce. <laughs> He's very sincere. Who again? What you desire, you want to who again? Give it to her. At least what was? A vacation. Huh? A vacation. Going on a vacation. Thank you. Vacation. It is good though. I go on vacation. But I plan it. Although coronavirus has cornered me for some time now. This, this, this colored dress, all those fanciful things you desire. Huh? iPhone 12. He's saying iPhone 12 because I have iPhone 12. Yeah. iPhone 12 to me is not a want. It's a need. Because I'm a coach. I know you have. <laughs> I'm a coach. I do a lot of videos. I do a lot of things, seminars. So I use it to make money. Are you with me? Not. In my estate, I saw one small boy from the north. He was holding iPhone 8. I said, what it says? iPhone, size iPhone 8. Who gave it to you? My, my daddy. I said, my your daddy wants to destroy you. So we spend money on our needs and our wants. But today, I want you to begin to prioritize and make sure you spend money firstly on your on your yes. That's how you begin to learn how to Save. Next slide. Let's open to the book of Genesis chapter 41. Somebody that can read, that can read, that can read. That can read, should put microphone on the mouth and read quickly. Who can read clearly? Well-favored kind and fat-fleshed, and they fed in a meadow. And behold, even other kind came up after them, out of the river, ill-favored and lean-fleshed, and stood by the other kind upon the brink of the river. And the ill-favored and lean-fleshed kind did eat. Feedback. And the ill-favored and lean-fleshed kind did eat up the seven well-favored and fat kind. So Pharaoh awoke, and he slept and dreamed the second time. And behold, Seven years of corn came up upon one stalk, rank and good. And behold, seven thin years and blasted with east wind sprung up after them. And the seven thin years devoured the seven rank and full years. And Pharaoh awoke, and behold, it was a dream. 
And it came to pass in the morning that his spirit was troubled, and he sent and called for all the magicians of Egypt and all the wise men thereof. And Pharaoh told them his dream, but there was none that could interpret them unto Pharaoh. Then spake the chief butler unto Pharaoh, saying, I do remember my faults this day. 10. Pharaoh was brought with his servants and put, up, and put me in the ward in the captains of the guard's house, both me and the chief baker. And we dreamed the dream in one night. And I and he, we dreamed each man according to the interpretation of his dream. And there was, and there, was there with us a young man, an Hebrew, an Hebrew servant to the captain of the guard. And he told them, and he interpreted to us our dreams. To each man according to his dream, he did interpret. And it came to pass, as he interpreted to us, so it was me, he restored unto mine, my office, and him he, hung, he hanged. 14. Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph, and they brought him hastily out of the dungeon, and he shaved himself and changed his raiment, and came in unto Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I have dreamed a dream, and there is none that can interpret it. And I have heard say, and I have heard say of thee, that thou canst understand the dream to interpret it. And Joseph answered Pharaoh, saying, It is not in me. God shall give Pharaoh an answer of peace. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, In my dream, behold, I stood upon the bank of the river, and behold, there came up out of the river seven kind fat-fleshed and well-favored, and they fed in the middle. And behold, seven of the kind came up after them, poor and well-healed and lean-fleshed, such as I never saw in all the land of Egypt for badness. And the lean and ill-fleshed kind did eat up the first and seven fat fine, fat kind. And when they had eaten them up, it, even, it could not be known that they had eaten them, and they were still ill-favored as at the beginning. So I awoke, and I saw in my dream, and behold, seven years came up in one stalk, full and good. And all behold, seven years withered, thin, and blasted with the east wind, sprung up after them. And the thin years devoured the seven good years. And I told them unto the magicians, but there was none that could declare it to me. 25. And Joseph said unto Pharaoh, The dreams of Pharaoh is one. God has showed Pharaoh that God has showed Pharaoh what he is about to do. The seven good kinds are seven years, and the seven good years are seven years, and the dream is one. And the seven thin and ill fat kind that came up after them are seven years, and the seven empty years blasted with the east wind shall be seven years of famine. This is the thing which I have spoken unto Pharaoh. What God is about to do is sweat unto Pharaoh. Behold, there come seven years of great plenty throughout the land of Egypt, and there shall arise after them seven years of famine, and, the all, and all the plenty shall be forgotten in the land of Egypt, and the famine shall consume the land. And the plenty shall not be known in the land by the reason of that famine following, for it shall be grievous. And for that the dream was doubled unto Pharaoh twice. It is because the thing established by God, and God will shortly bring it to pass. Now, therefore, let Pharaoh look out a man discreet and wise, and set him over the land of Egypt. 34. Let Pharaoh do this, and let him appoint officers over the land, and take up the fifth part of the land of Egypt in the seven plenteous years. And let them gather all the food of those good years that come, and lay up corn under the land of Pharaoh, and let them keep food in the cities. 36. And that food shall be for store to the land against the seven years of famine, which shall be in the land of Egypt, that the land perish not through the famine. 37. And the thing was good in the eyes of Pharaoh and the eyes of all his servants. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Did you get the gist? Huh? Yes. In summary, God gave Pharaoh a dream of a time of plenty. A time of prosperity. Are you with me? And also showed him a time of famine, a time of hunger. He woke up, he was worried. He brought Joseph. Joseph said, these two dreams are connected. They are connected. God tried to show you seasons in the life of the country and your own life. In the life of every man, there's a period of what? Abundance. A period where you have a job, working in this, you finish youth call, jobs are coming, money is coming. There comes a time when there is famine, lack, 
What do you do? Joseph told Pharaoh, you must do something. That's where we are going to. During the time of plenty, you must store. Say store. He says store. Verse 34 says, Pharaoh should appoint supervisors over the land. Let them collect one-fifth of the crops during the seven good years. Set apart. Seven. Are you with me? Set apart one-fifth. I don't care the percentage. But what God is teaching us is that you must, in all your endeavor, put apart. If you're not doing it, you act like a foolish man. And I've come here to declare, if you're not doing it, you act like a foolish man. But you can deliver yourself from that foolishness after this message in Jesus' name. Amen. It says, have them gather all the food in a good place, in a good year. Just I had to bring it to Pharaoh's storehouse. He said, keep it there. Keep it in cities. Store them. Do you remember that after this period, the time of famine come, didn't it? Eh? And because of that act of saving, the whole developed nation of the world were saved. These principles apply to you, 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 you. Don't throw it away. It's for the children of Israel. To you. During time of severity, they had to go back to their store and begin to pull out. Let me tell you a story about the church I've pastored first. Wisdom City, if you don't know. I planted the church. When I was commissioned to go there, the rent was in millions. It was the first church Wisdom City of David planted locally. So I was pulled out of the minister's, program, minister's group and asked to go there. I got the place. Getting the place was miraculous. I didn't go through any agent. I didn't go through, it's me. I didn't go through any agent. Pastor Esco wrote a letter to me. I cried in my place. He said, what do I do? He said, go to Sulere and look for a house. A, a place you will pastor. Sulere. Sulere is jam now. Two of us. A jam. A lot of places. So I took off after praying the next day. Along, uh, where is that street? This uh, Akarele. Eh? I stopped at the uh, I turned left to to um, see my my dry cleaner. The dry cleaner used to be there. On my way, I saw a co-tenant who be living together sometime before all of us scattered. We were just very close to James Robertson's hospital. I so just think the Lord moved my eyes. I saw a tiny place for rent. I said, how can I be for rent? When I finished, I said, okay, we departed. I walked towards the place. Saw Malam. Malam, what did he say? Hey, yeah, they don't go, they don't go. Who? He said, follow me, follow me, they don't go. The Baptist church that used to be there had vacated empty space. I said, where are they? He said, go that side. Because the landlord used to have, he's dead now, Professor Pemipias. Had, has an office near that place. He said, they, they, he showed me, I walked down to the secretary who was there. I explained to him, he said, yes, they just left last month. And uh, I said, how do I get it? He gave me, the, she gave me the address of the agent. I spoke to the agent, the agent said, she'll come. I come, the agent is a member of Redeem Christian Church of Gweno. This, this our brand is everywhere. He showed me what others, big churches, I won't mention the churches that have been there. He said, look at what they're bidding. But look at what I'm accepting to you because I'm a member of the church. If you could do the rule, I said, eh, I said, okay. He talked something on top. I said, okay. I phoned, to my, I phoned my pastor. My pastor said, take it. He said, pastor, he said, I grew up in Sulere. There's no place like that. Take it. So I went back. The, the place was very close to my, from my office. Went there. In one week, the thing was sorted out. I didn't go through any agent. Can it happen? It can happen. I didn't go to an agent. I take my leg. When they were bringing the agency fee, I took it and put it back in, the, in our church bus. 
So by the time they came, where I'm going is that, by the time they came for the inaugural program, the city of David, all of them came, the managers, the MDs. So when we are leaving, one of them comes, Jojo, I said, say, come, come, come. You don't see us here, oh. you don't go see us again. Oh. That was a joke, but that statement entered my head. It is true. How will I pay for the rent? I was praying, God gave me an idea. Seven. God says, it's a principle, it doesn't matter that you want him. From your minister's tight, remove some. Tell her guy, the one they give it, you cut it off for seven. That's what I did. Simple, that's what I did. Till I left that church, they would tell you, I never asked the congregation. I'm not saying you shouldn't talk, but I'm just saying, I'm giving my own testimony of saving. I never asked the congregation for one day for rent. We were doing it from that simple principle of putting certain amount apart. So you stand here, your first line of action is to learn how to budget and begin to put something apart. Are you with me? It has power. How did I build my house? Your pastor knows I just moved into my house at, at old age. But anyway, it's a house. How? Through power of saving. I'm teaching you practical. That's why today in the coaching I came home. Ah, pastor, we bless you with 200,000 naira. God bless you. I will eat it. I put it in my investment account. Manage whatever. Pastor, pastor. My first car, that's why I put you, my first car, I sold it. And I had some money. It was then, you know, it was a Tokumbo car, 120,000. I, I, I sold it. I took it to my friend who works in a stock broken firm. Emeka, Abiyagu. Emeka said, put this, divide into two, put it in seven up, put it in GT. I shared it, put it in, I left it there. As I get small, small money, I put small, small money, I put small, seven. Things, I made it impossible for me to just go there and take the money. I made it impossible. When we saw a place to buy, I didn't have enough money. My wife didn't have enough money. You know, I remember that I used to have, <laughs> I used to have account with Fidelity stockbrokers. I went to them. They said, oh, yeah, 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 the check, 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 check. You know what they saw? Four million, four point something million. That was accumulated as I put in. I said, me? Yeah. He said, but why do you want to sell this? Because GT is a very good. Uh, I said, I want to buy property. He said, okay. I said, come, come back. After two weeks, come back. They gave me the check. That was what prompted me. I put back into the, into the ha house thing. Here and there, here and there, here and there, here and there. Power of seven. I want to tell you the story of my life so that I, it's not that I've come here to talk. I don't talk. The rich, or rather, the wise, will always put something aside. Why the rich will eat everything? So if you're eating everything, repent today. <laughs> Amen? Amen? I am married. But, 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 yes, sit down with your wife. Some of us are married. Our wives are more, more of treasurer than us. It's true or false? Huh? True or false? Power of collaboration. My wife preached on it this night, this morning. And I'm taking part of it. Power of collaboration. Skill pulling. Intelligent sharing. Are you with me? That's why God gave me that wife. You know, ego. I'm a man. I'm a man. Ego. 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 I'm a man. Ego. If she's the one that has that ability, allow her to do it. Am I talking to you? I've come to talk today. Technically, there are better treasurers. There are better money keepers than us. Let us agree. They are better. Power of seven. Next slide.
Habits that promote saving. Because I'm zeroing on savings. I don't have time. Budgeting. Say budgeting. budgeting. Say budgeting. budgeting. You can't live a very reckless life. Say budgeting. budgeting. Budgeting means you sit down and calculate your income and your expenses. If you don't do it here as a man or woman, you are reckless. You know, I'm talking like a coach. So I'll give it to you. You are living a reckless life. Every month, those of us that go at the end of the month, one million has come in, 500 has come in. Okay, 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 okay. Shh, 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 shh. All those that say you are spending. <laughs> My driver was telling me, it's not yes, I can say it. First month, okay, okay, you know, you know, I, I gave him. Second month again, this month is not come. I said, come, 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 come. You can't drive me. And I have this knowledge and I cannot help you. What is it that is chopping your money? I know it's not enough. Many of us take coke. If you calculate what coke is, am I talking to you? Eh? You are funding a habit that is destroying you, your health, and your pocket. Recharge card. Ten, ten, nine, eight. Do you know, I used to live around here. I went to Lawrence one day to buy something. My recharge card finished. I said, please, can I have, can I buy? They said, yes, they opened it, was 100, 100 naira. I said, do you have 1,000? He looked at me. No full way that I'm in the wrong environment. <laughs> Just because it is 100, 100 naira. Hey, 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 madam, hey, give me. At the end of the month, you check it, it has eaten deep. Am I talking to you? Budget. Sit down, budget what comes in. You must do it all. He said, you cannot do it. Mm -hmm. You're waiting for when you will get one million, two million. Okay, oh. You will never get it. You must sit down and structure. Am I talking to you? Church people, Christians. You carry your Bible. Sorry. Only Jesus can save. Only Jesus can say it is true. But if you don't apply the principle written in the word of God, you will die a poor man, a poor woman. I am not cursing you. Many of us here were interested in give me, give me. You see, you see, we claim the promises of God and we don't observe the principles of God. Write it down. This is one of the principles of God that never We claim, we, have you noticed that when you go to churches, including camp, when Jew is praying, many of them are not listening. But when you say prayer, they will wake up from their sleep. They carry their notebook. Eh? All the devil, my enemy, my enemy, die, they will write it. Their mind is in one mother in law, father in law, or competitor. Shop owner, we play sharing shop. Am I talking to you? Can I talk to you? You must be able to learn how to calm down, structure what you bring in and what you spend. Look at the two and begin to ask yourself questions. You must do it too. There's no shortcut. Many of the money we are looking for are filtered in our bad habits. Am I talking to you? Huh? Filtered. There's this program. What is this program? Big Brother. <laughs> Big Brother Niger. You, don't, you have not cornered yourself. <clears throat> you are. No, no, no. Tunde must win. I don't know how to, but I know. Uh, you, have, you know them now. Stop pretending. This man must win. Each time you push, do you know how much you're paying? It's eating deep. I observed something during NSARS. Abby? Is it NSARS or something? something one of those programs. Nigeria was heating up. I noticed in that this 
phone companies were saying, if you don't agree on this, eh, we need your vote. Abby. And it was, the, the charge was higher than the normal something. People were voting, foolish government, foolish this, they must go. <laughs> I know they must go, but you're spending money. Can, can I talk to you? You're spending money that cannot come back to you again. But the thing, what, do, what comes in, what go, you must do that. On a personal level, family, husband and wife, on a, two of you will sit down and budget it. Stop behaving. Two of you, two is better than one, says the Ecclesiastes. God gave you a wife. Two of you, forget about all those competition. I don't know what you're hiding, man. Woman, I don't know what you're hiding. It's my money. It's your money. It's my money. You're short changing yourself. Can I talk to you? Yes. The next one is recording your spendings, which is. I did a simple self audit. I discovered that. See, see, DSTV was chopping my money. I will book for. The highest bouquet, my brother, bouquet. When I got stuck, <laughs> student school fees and everything was hitting me left and right. I calmed down. You better begin to sit down and go home and think of this. Season. I looked at, my daughter was still around. I said, please, blow some check. Check through the, what are the things they show? Consider the programs you like. Consider the ones I like. The mother doesn't watch the mother has no time. Consider the football, you know, my daughter's son, he checked. So among this, which one can? He says, this, this. I said, fine. I took it to this TV Sulele. I said, I want to cut down this cost. <laughs> he looked at me and said, I want to cut down this cost. It's eating my, it's eating my money. These are the things I watch. They looked at it and structured it and gave me one bouquet. I had a middle one or something, bouquet. I had to reduce it by half. And now everybody in the family is still watching, and I'm paying less. Recording your spendings, cutting down. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. I bought, your pastor will know, I bought three series of Apple products. I'm an Apple person. I use iPhone, I use Mac, I use. But I discover I use it for business. So my old ones, I sold them. They wouldn't believe me. And they bought. So I get some money and record your spendings. Practice delay gratification. I mentioned these are points. You you. Are you following? Are you following? Yes, sir. Practice the delay gratification. Delay gratification is that practice of Delaying eh, something for later. A relation of mine wanted to travel for a holiday with his children. Daughter, being a wise woman, she's been to England, America, said, Dad, I don't want to go. But I want to equip my studio. Daughter looked at her. Use that money, calculate that money you spend. Ticket, blah blah blah, eh? and buy studio lights, buy camera for me. The father was flabbergasted. He said, "Okay." And they travel, and they bought those things for her, and she's doing well now. She's just graduating. She's into multimedia. She's into Instagram. Not, no, doing well. He used that money to do it. Invested it by practicing the leg I mean. Your income comes. Look at this formula, write it all. Your income comes. As a Christian, I hope it's assumed that all of you pay your title. Pastor, do they pay their tithes? Some. He says some. Let me tell you the story of tithes. He says some. I have to. Somebody will owe me. Listen. You know, you Christians, eh? you know, some of you don't keep your words. He disappeared from me. And meanwhile, he was struggling, struggling, struggling. Until one day, he snapped out of that struggle. 
and made up his mind to pay his tithe. At that point in time, we didn't know spiritual connection. I had made up my mind to forgive the debt when he started paying tithe. So one day he boldly came to my office. Pastor, you see, I had to come to report myself. You see, see, it has not been easy. Every morning before I go to work, my children will line up. I give them money for transport. For, I don't even have money for tight. I say, cool down. Tight. You are getting yourself into trouble. He said, but, but last week, I made up my mind that I will be paying tight. And I have paid tight. I come to tell you, can you structure it? He didn't know that when he took that decision, God spoke to me. I didn't know to write off the... It is not that 1,000, 2,000 that will pay your debt for you. No matter what they are saying in the internet. Most of them are saying it now. I are in trouble. I don't want to mention them. It's not. Are you with me? So, income goes. You take your tithes. And before then, you decide how much you want to save. It is not in the quantum. It is the habit of keeping it. Are you with me? I'm not interested in the quantum. No. Have an account. Don't touch it. Did you hear what I'm saying? Eh? Don't touch it. Oh. A particular sum you put there before you start your expenses. When you begin to do that, first month, two months, you feel like dying. After some time, you find that you begin to adjust. Am I talking to you? Eh? You begin to adjust. You stop eating out. You, stop, you begin to adjust. Because you are crafting something, delay gratification. Please, oh, a lot of us don't. Let me eat today and die. You will eat and die. Oh. <laughs> Remember, we are talking about habits that helps in saving. There's a lot, so many topics I can teach, but I'm just throwing on habits. The next one is avoid impulse purchasing. Who can, what is impulse purchasing? Somebody can. Okay, women. They are, that one is their area of speciality. Give her a microphone. I want them to hear her voice. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, probably you're going on your way and you see something you like and you just want to buy it immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You will see a woman, you discuss, Pastor, I don't have money. I don't have... Once you step aside and somebody brings cloth, you see them, they, 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 they resurrect. Am I talking to you? They come back. No, no, no. I want that green one. You'll be watching. If you are married, you will face it. If you are... ah, I want that blue one. No, 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 no. no. Auntie, no, no, no. Give me the other one. You know, they have names for colors. I'm not belch, blue, sky blue. Where did the money come from? No, no, you know, I'm not paying now. They say pay later. Danger. <laughs> Impulse purchasing is a dangerous demon that eats deep and prevents you from saving. Never, never plan your spend expenses. Have a shopping list. Are you with me? No. Sit with your wife. This is what we are going to spend. Impulse purchasing does not help you. I have a story of two friends. They were going to the shop to buy. Friend A takes time to spend and he has craft, he has planned that. He will spend 20,000 naira on watch, to buy a watch. The other one is just a rolling stone. When they got near the shopping something, he, was, he saw things he liked. He was buying, buying, buying. He's about to finish. He turned to his friend. Oh boy, can you, can you, these days they speak bad English. Can you borrow me? So sort of, can you lend me? All of you speak that nonsense grammar. Can you lend me? It's a correct English. Not can you borrow me? Can you borrow me money to, 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 to buy this? The friend said, I don't have money. He said, I don't have money. So they continued. On getting to the shop, the friend walked towards a watch, priced it, and paid. The other friend said, you're a wicked man. I asked him for money. He said, no. 
I didn't have money for that. The money I had is for what? Planned purchase. Impulse purchases, please. Women, that's the first thing men for fight with you people. Try, I beg, help your husband. Your husband, help your wife. You plan. And that's why you must plan to do, plan, have a budget where you're going to. Savings. Next one is avoid eating out as much as possible. You know what's involved in eating out? I'm not saying shouldn't some from time to time eating out. I have a man before the corona something. Immediately it is 10 o'clock, he will leave his house. Do you know that Surulere is a dangerous area to stay in court? All my life I've been living here. Suru. In the evening now, you see small, small pops with white, white chairs outside. Do you see them? Talk to me now. Do you see them? Yes, sir. Well, well. Do you know who sits on those seats? Those people who sit on those seats are not, are not common people. Oh. Retired general, retired professors, retired lecturers. They sit there with, with girls of their, their age, age, ages of their children. Leave me on. Leave me, James. You're a stupid person, James. James. I walk, I used to live off, off, I don't know what I said. I walk, mm, this, I used to live, I walk around. In Sulere, I don't drive. I walk, if you know me. A particular woman came to me. Pastor, pastor, we have to do something. I said, what is it? Calm down, calm down, calm down. He said, we have to do something now. Pastor, see this list. Names of three, three beds my husband is staying with now, now, now. Taking, I said, I know where your husband goes. Pray, pray. I said, calm down. I'm not a prayer machine, oh. If you know me, you can't, we have to talk so we know what we're praying. Pray, pray. I said, calm down. I didn't pray like that, oh. What is happening? I said, have you been chasing him out of the house? I said, bring your husband. He said, he respects you. He will come. I said, bring him. When I told him I was come, I, told, I asked him, he came to my office. He said, pastor, tell my wife, don't let her not think I'm planning to divorce her. No, 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 no. I've, I invested a lot in that marriage. Look at the children. I can't lose it. I'm getting to 50, so I'm saving myself from her cantankerous can, can nature. He doesn't make me relax. He doesn't cook for me. He has moved out of the Matrimony at home, he says, this and that. I should, so that I won't give her, uh, what is that disease? I won't give her disease, federal disease, all those diseases. He has a, a dog, and a dog messes up the place. And when I, if I talk, he will start quoting scripture. I said, okay, no problem. So please, but what you're doing, try. He said, he will obey. I go back, I call him, I say, sit down, madam. You, now you, you, you. say, you. Yeah, the one chasing the unbeliever out. You were a believer before you married an unbeliever. That's the issue. This woman was a, a worker in church. He saw a rich youth and entered and said, right now your prayer should not be fire and mounting. Your prayer should be, Lord, have a... Mercy. Because now you carry your hand put there. Avoid eating out. So they go. Every evening. I walk, I know some of them. Some of them are members of my church. Some have left. Then when they see me, the baby will be beside them. They enter. Eating out. The emphasis is it is eating your money. I mean, eating your money. You spend not less than 6,000, 5,000 to calculate it. Sometimes you eat that. I'm not saying, but there, let it not be a habitual thing. It will disturb you from saving. Next slide. Control the use of deb debit card to avoid unnecessary expenses. Now, the fashion is that all of us have Zenith, GT, eh? Card, 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 card. If you want to save, save. When you are your saving, let it not be a card, eh? Huh? Yes, Don't use your card then. Sometimes when you are going to supermarket, drop your <laughs> card outside. You see, where they caught me is, God will help me. It's research card, you can use your your. When I'm walking, because I, I'm a night person, walk, walk by 12 o'clock, the thing finishes. Ah, oh, ta, 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 2,000 pia. Try to reduce that. 
You see, I know we are moving to the 21st century, but you have to find a way of saving money. Is that, is that, is that clear? Yes, sir. Can we begin to do that? Yes, sir. For, your, for your transactional bills, yes, use your card. But for savings, forget it, forget it. Don't ask for the debit card. Say, I say so. Make it difficult for you to withdraw. Are you with me? Because you're saving for something. You're saving for something. You're saving for something. Review where you shop from time to time. I have seen the case of somebody who bought something that after he bought it or she bought it, if you drive 20, 15 minutes away from there, you will see the same thing at what? At half the price. Review, review. Am I talking to you? Don't just be careless. Review. <laughs> this is the things you know, but I have just rearranged it. Follow it. Simple spending measure that enhances saving. The list can be 100 tips. 100 tips. 100 tips. Make saving automatic. Yes. I do that for my children, my, for my, uh, what do you call it? Um, my, my salary account, my, I put a social from the GT, right? Put 10,000 10, every month to the account. I'm not there. I'll look at it. Okay, what's remaining? I can manage with this, but it's going somewhere. Make it automatic. Because if you are looking when, when you will do it, ah, uh, that time an uncle can come from the village. And let me warn you, let me warn you, you are not the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Someone said, Pastor, what do I do? Anything I want to spend, uh, news will come from the village. Let me warn you now, you are not the Holy Spirit. Before you turn yourself to Holy Spirit for your relations. And some of you, especially those from my area,